This is rhythm 42. We're going to do line 2. You are responsible for doing line 1, line 2, and all other lines of 42 using the tongue clap method. Uh, no, there are a few tricky ones, lines down below that involve some ties, but if you are familiar with the tongue clap method and can do it, then um, you should be able to practice it and figure it out. All right, so let's look at line two. Is the beat divided right here? The answer is no. Is the beat divided? The answer is no, but this note is held all the way through. So we're gonna ta, hold through, and clap to mark where beat two happens. Is this beat divided? The answer is no. We will clap on this beat and not voice it. Is this beat divided? The answer is yes. What's the smallest note value used within this beat? It's a 16th note. How many 16th notes are in a quarter note? Uh, four. So there's going to be four events of ta or clap within this beat. The first one's going to be a ta. The second 16th note event happens here. We will clap it while we're holding the first note over. We will ta the third 16th note. We will ta the fourth 16th note spot. All right, now let's look at this one carefully. We have a little syncopation going on. And we're, um, <clears throat> we have beat two beginning. Is the beat divided, meaning beat two? Is beat two divided? The answer is yes. What's the smallest note value? The smallest note value is the eighth note. It's the smallest one. We have quarter note and eighth note. Smallest one's an eighth note. How many eighth notes are in a quarter? There are two. So there's gonna be two events of ta or clap within beat two here. The first eighth note event happens here. It's a ta. The second eighth note event happens here. It's a ta as well. Okay, and that's it for beat two. We're, we're gonna hold that through ta into beat three. B3, is the beat divided? This beat, is it divided? The answer is yes. What's the smallest note value? It is an eighth note. There's going to be two events of eighth notes within this um, quarter note beat. The first event happens right here where the beat starts, and we're holding this note through from previously. So we're going to keep holding that note through. Ta! But we're going to clap where beat three starts. And then the second eighth note occurs right here, and we will ta on that note. Let's look at this beat. Is the beat divided? Yes. What's the smallest note value? 16th note. We're going to have four events of ta here, ta here, clap here for the third 16th space, and ta here. Is this beat divided? No. Is this beat divided? No. We will ta, hold through. We will clap while we're holding the note when beat three arrives to mark the start of beat three. Is this beat divided? Beat one here. <clears throat> Answer is yes. What's the smallest note value? The eighth note. How many eighth notes are in a quarter? Two. There are going to be two events of ta or clap within this beat. So we're going to ta here and clap here. Is this beat divided? Yes. What's the smallest note value? Eighth note. Two events. Clap and then a ta. Is this beat divided? Yes, it is. How many? Um, what is the smallest note value? Sixteenth note. How many events will there be? Four. And there's going to be four ta's because there's four sixteenth notes written. So let's look at line number two and see if we can do it. Let's make sure we get our quarter note pulse going on. Here is our quarter note pulse. Eight notes go. Chun, 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 chun. Sixteenths go. Chun, 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 chun. Here we go. And ta. Ta. Ta 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 ta. That's line two.